My favorite has to be Tupac. His song, Rider. Rider. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Tyson. Hey, this is Francis Ngannou. And this is Goat Talk with Complex. Rounds is in the house, man. <laughs> okay, let's go. Goat, professional wrestler. You Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a big one. They don't yeah. come any bigger than that. Yeah. The Hulkster. <laughs> the GOAT. What's yours? My favorite? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> GOAT animal. Tiger. Tiger? Yeah, I, I raised a couple tigers for a few years. For like 15 years. And um, that's my favorite animal. I, I love a tiger. What's mine? I and anybody say, would think I say pigeon, but my pigeons are my life, so you can't. I can't compare them to anything else because my pigeons are me. Uh -huh. So basically, you don't see pigeon as animal because they are like. No, I don't look at them. I look at them as uh, my babies. Now he makes sense. Yeah. Uh, my god, animal, lion. Yeah, I love lion. Uh, I relate to lion a lot because they can sleep all day long, but when they go to strike, they strike. You know, a lion's more of a pimp mentality, a, a ideology, because he does no work and gets all the benefits. He gets all the benefits. Yeah. What's your good knockout? My favorite knockout is Larry Holmes. Listen, when I was a young kid, he, he fought Muhammad Ali in 1980, and um, he kicked Ali's ass real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get revenge for Ali. I was like, what, 14? I'm gonna revenge Ali. Really? So you you tell yourself that when you were uh, 14? Yeah, I'm gonna revenge him. Ah, okay. So it was more into that than just a knockout. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a good one. He never been knocked out before. I think mine, Ali still over him. Wow, that's a great <laughs> fighter too. Yeah, he smashed him, huh? That's a great fighter from yeah. Harlem. He's great. I mean, he's the most decorated fighter. Yeah, I was very confident. I'm like, I'm going to knock this guy out. And the first combo get connected and boom, 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 knock out. Well, my favorite fight, I told you before, and it's always, when you fought the, he was a black guy, but he had an Eastern European name. Jairzinho Rosenstrup. Yeah, um, because he wasn't afraid of you. He, he, he anticipated kicking your ass. And when you hit him with that, that punch, man, I, it killed him. He, he woke up this morning. <laughs> He just woke up. <laughs> Goat sneakers. Man, uh, right now I would say uh, Air Jordan because yeah. I have a lot of them. But I remember growing up uh, back in 2000, I saw a, a video clip. It was a Jay-Z and he was going up the stair with the Air Force, white Air Force. And I was barefoot at that time. And I was just like, I hope I have that shoes. And for so long, Air Force was in my mind. I'm like, whenever I have money and if I can afford it, I will have that Air Force. But I have a lot of Jordan, so I will say Jordan. Well, I'm not going to tell you what my GOAT sneaker is because no one's paying me yet for wearing them. But until then, I'll let you know. Okay. What's your GOAT fashion era? Oh, 80s, Versace. And then I had the opportunity to meet him. He would give me free clothes, but I, I, sometimes it wouldn't fit me, so he would have to make it, and it would take a long time to make it. So um, he would send me a lot of clothes, but I still would go there and buy clothes because he didn't give them to me fast enough. I need everything right now. I need it yesterday. That's just the way my mentality works. I need everything now. Mm. So you have no patience? I have great patience, but I, I want to be served. I always love Americans, so like, you know, those jeans, the big jeans. The baggy they, jeans. The baggy jeans and the big shirt with the chin. Fubu, yeah. You know that stuff. Yeah. What is your GOAT workout song? God planned me. God planned. That speak to me. You know, nobody really believed that I would have been there, but I'm there, so. You had an intense life, huh? I love it. Okay, my favorite has to be Tupac. I love him as a person. When I was in prison, he used to come visit me all the time. So yeah, Tupac's the best for me. His song, Rider. Rider. I'm a ride. 
Boom, 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 boom. Who's your good MMA fighter? God, you. you. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like boxing, there's so many of them. I like um, John Jones, I like Khabib. There's a lot of great ones coming up, new guys. I'm gonna go with, I have to go with John Jones. Cause all of his adversity and all he went through and he still um, managed to become champion. As long as I want to fight John John, I still think he's, he will be my good MMA fighter. Because he's just so good. He is. Goat Mike Tyson fight. Listen, it's weird. It has to be my loss to Buster Douglas. I say that because that fight um, propelled me into being a better fighter. So I always look at that fight as my best. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, getting humiliated in front of millions and millions of people and overcoming that, that's, that's a winner. I would say it's the uh, Francois Baudet. Wow. I love the Francois Baudet wow, fight. Wow, that's, wow, I never <laughs> thought about that fight. That was a good knockout, boom. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I love that fight. I watched this video on YouTube like 11 years ago. He tried to do the same thing like you and for the, you knock him out on the, on the third round. Buster Mathis. This. That's the guy, Buster Mathis. Buster yes. He had, he his was, father trained under my trainer, that's why he had the same style. He was doing the same thing, the same, same style, yeah. everything, like just like you, but you were just better than him. I know my style better than he knows it. Exactly. <laughs> What's your GOAT TV show? My GOAT TV show? Yeah. Casa de Papel. Money Heist. Money Heist, okay. Yeah, Money Heist. That is like a masterpiece. I love that TV show. Yo, what do I watch? All right, my wife watches, she calls me to watch survival series. Neck, neck. I love the survival ne too. Naked and Afraid. The Household Wives we watch. Yeah, I have an array of shows that we watch that's dictated by my wife and I have no other choice but to watch them. So those are the shows I watch. So which one do you prefer? Which one get you more turned up? I think it's Forensic Files. Mm. I like that stuff when people get killed and murdered and they find out and they have people snitching on each other. <laughs> I, just, I love that stuff. Okay. Good finishing move. I'm an uppercut man, if you ask me. I me like too, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an uppercut punch. man. And an opponent don't see it. It's very rare that he yeah, sees it. They don't see it. Like, when you mask it, you put some, throw some fake jab and fake uh, That's why the right hand. Punches. Like, that, that, and then it come from, you know, when you throw that jab, bring your hand down while throwing this, and then come back up. Oh, and, most time you had to sleep yeah. Who's your goat actor? Goat actor? Yeah. Growing up, um, I was about five years old and we went to the village and my dad had had a big poster of Sylvester Stallone, of Rambo 2, yeah. with the machine gun, you know, with the helicopter in the background. And man, that was the first time that I saw something like that. He was all like muscles up yeah. with the bandage on his head. I used to think Denzel Washington is the greatest actor on the planet. He is, he is very good. He could play anything. He could play a, a, a blonde, a blonde ten-year-old with blue eyes. He could do anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would work pretty good for him. Good advice you have received. Old too quick, smart too late. Huh? Damn, I get old very quick, and then after getting old, I get too late. It's too late for me to do all the um, goals that I wanted. So he, he always told me, don't get old too fast, accomplish your goals while you're young. That's why I was very successful as a young kid, because I didn't want to waste that time. Wow. What should I, what would be my good advice? Don't let anybody tell you you can't, you know. That's a good just, one. Just go after it. And uh, in the worst case scenario, you have to restart, but at least you have experienced it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Goat boxing movie. Oh, Rocky. Rocky. You like Rocky? The, yeah, the first one. I like Denzel Washington and the Hurricane, but I also like Robert De Niro as Jake LaMotta and Raging Bull. Those are my favorites, so I gotta take two. Cause they both started with nothing and they finished with nothing. And that's the life I, I'm acquainted with. Uh -huh. You know, nothing, starting from nothing, 
winning it all and having the potential to win it all and then losing it all. That's my outlook on life, you know. We have to overcome these adversities that we encounter with. Who's your good boxer? <sighs> have to be. See, I love Roberto Duran and Muhammad Ali. I have to, Ali's the greatest fighter that ever lived. I have to go with him, yeah. You will go with Ali? I love Ali too, and I also love like uh, his story. Well, I love Ali more for like what he stands for. But my favorite boxer is Mike Tyson. Oh God, thank you, brother. All day. Thank you, brother. All day long, <laughs> like as far as boxing concerned, I go with Mike Tyson. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Ali's the greatest. Hey guys, this is Francis Ngannou, and this is Mike Tyson. Thank you for watching Good Talk with Complex. Only two times for both, we got it.